Hi, I'm Jamie Stillway, and I've decided I want to make free guitar lessons for YouTube. As any good YouTube content creator, you've got to have a catchy title. So my title, wait for it. Guitar for introverts. I'm not into playing fast. I'm not into playing flashy. So you're not gonna learn how to do that here. If we look closely, we can see my cat Birdie in the window, you know, thus solidifying this as a video for introverts or letting you know, you know, revealing my introvert card. So she will hopefully not cause too much of a ruckus. We are going to talk about open tunings and we are going to talk about finger style guitar. Usually when you say one of those things, that's enough to make the brain go, forget it. You're crazy. We're not doing that. So, uh, let's put our guitar in open G. I'm in standard tuning. By the way, if you do not really know your notes of standard tuning, do not pass go. You must know it. Eat a darn good breakfast every day. It's also rules to live by good for you. Uh, so we're going to take the sixth string and we're going to go down to D and we were going to find the D by playing our open fourth string. We're going to take our open first string and go down to D. We are going to play the open fifth string A and take it down to G. utilizing our open third string. We are already there. Sounds nice. Real nice. So let's just do a simple alternating bass pattern. We're just gonna move our thumb back and forth between the fifth string and the fourth string. You want to have a really relaxed right hand and when you get started finger picking, just even that might be enough to yield a lot of tension in your hands. Let us pinch the second string open conjunction with the fifth string. Now I should let you know on in on a secret. Let you in on a secret. I'm always counting. One, two, three, four. We are gonna pinch on the one, two, three, four. already. Now we're going to add, <clears throat> excuse me, I put the and of two in there. One. I messed up. Does it matter? No. Climb back on that horse. One, two, Let's add a couple more. So let me say one, the end of two, the end of three. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. It sounds nice. We haven't even done anything with our left hand. That's amazing. That's what open tunings are for. We're gonna take Looks like part of an A minor chord, part of a C chord, whatever. So, two and three and four, one, two and three and four, one, same shape.
but let's expand on that idea and just harmonize the whole scale up the neck. So I often refer to this as diagonal and straight. So if we consider these two notes, that's a straight line. The next two, diagonal, diagonal, straight, straight, diagonal, straight, straight. But we're not going to talk about all that. Why that is the way it is. We can talk about that some other day. So. What happens if we alternate our thumb between five, four, six, or So that's basically just thinking in shapes for your left hand and patterns for your right hand. Another idea I like to try is playing a scale while keeping a bass note going with my right hand picking hand. I don't mean to exclude other left hand friends who play guitar. So uh, to start, I would just play the fifth string open. Again, slowly because get hectic quickly. So I'm going to play a G major scale and I'm going to start on the um, third string. So without the bass string I'm going to play open second fret, open second string, first fret, open first string, second fret, fourth string, fourth fret I mean, fifth. So I'm just pinching every note with a bass note. I'm not really giving a lot of attention to what fingers I'm using on my right hand or left hand if you're left handed to pick. I'm just picking them. And then you could do eighth notes. Eighth notes with an alt Whoa. Hold on. Eighth notes with an alternating bass. I'm going to alternate between the fifth string and the sixth string. Ready? I'm hoping that you're recognizing that all I'm doing is I have a really simple template of finger picking with my right hand. And then I'm exploring different subdivisions of time with the treble strings. And if you can under like if you sit with that for a for a while and apply that to everything you play, you know, don't just read tablature and just like memorize it and play from the book, you know, just really be like, "Oh, I'm, you know, I'm playing Oh, those are eighth notes, those are triplets, those are sixteenth notes, and there's my alternating bass. And really try and see what's going on with everything you finger pick. That's going to be good for you, especially if you're sort of stuck at a plateau. So again, let's just do... Actually, I'll do... Um, we did eighth notes, I'll do triplets. So triplets are three on a quarter note, so one triplet. Triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It gets
it's fast. Did you hear that? <laughs> I was alternating my bass. I got stuck though for a second. Again, take your time. There's no rush. And guitar for introverts. We have nothing but time. And think about what you're gonna do, what it's gonna sound like before it comes out. That's what happened to me. I got stuck and I wasn't ready. And be sure you can sing what you want. That's gonna help. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm doing every note on triplets. Doesn't matter. Anyway, I think that's a good start. To review, we have our scale. Well, first we did this Travis picking pattern. It's a Travis picking pattern, for the record. If you want to seek an entire lesson that I did for Acoustic Guitar Magazine, you can find it on the internet. This was just a real quick crash course for introverts. One, two, and three, and four. So our harmonized scale in six. go back down it's like climbing down a ladder you know you climb up the ladder you think hey that wasn't so bad and then you're at the top of the ladder and you look down and you think how am I gonna get down this ladder I don't like ladders so we're gonna go down missed a couple doesn't matter future lesson we'll talk about how to embrace your mistakes and because it doesn't matter none of it none of it, none of it matters um, okay and then we did our scale I encourage you go hunting for the other notes of the scale they're in there don't be afraid You can see I put the cat to sleep, which is, means this has been a successful episode of Guitar for Introverts. Hope you learned something. And again, just enjoy the sound of guitar. I just feel like that's all I ever want to say to students. Nature also wants you to enjoy the sounds of your guitars. Okay, bye!